What's so great about Snezhnyan toys anyway? One with nature! Nilu, good timing. I have the textiles you ordered. If you took any longer, the Sumter Beasts might have gobbled them up. <laughs> you and your jokes. Sumter Beasts won't eat those kinds of things, Mr. Offsheen. Jude said that some Sumter Beasts ate his spices. Were they yours? Oh, uh... <laughs> yeah, really sorry about that. Nilu, if it weren't for you, I would have lost half of my profits that month. Trying to pull anything out of a Sumter Beast's mouth is like playing a game of tug-of-war. So they really do eat anything, huh? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Come now. You know, Sumter Beasts sometimes eat not because they're hungry, but because they like gnawing on things. The textiles you ordered are highly durable and woven from the finest thread. So even if a Sumter Beast got snacky, it'd still have to chomp on it for a full day. You've tested this before? But of course! How else could I be so trustworthy? Well, that one time was an accident. I wouldn't dare experiment with such a precious product. True, it does sound like some good fabric. Ho ho, have I piqued your interest? If you want to buy some, now's a good time. Buy two bolts and get 20% off. Ooh, that's a pretty good discount. What do you think, Traveler? No thanks, Mr. Offsheen. You can't use that kind of tactic on her. Look, you've already sucked her in. Uh, tactic? So you mean everything he just said to Paimon was a lie? Uh, I wouldn't go that far. It's just that Mr. Offsheen is really good at spinning stories. A word from him, and you'll find yourself buying things you don't actually need. Mr. Zubair gave me a huge lecture the last time I bought too many things. Come on, don't look at me like that. All she got was a talking to from Zubair, while I was nearly fed headfirst to the Sumter Beasts. My philosophy is that stories give value to merchandise. That's why my business started with such a boom. Our Nilu here is an extraordinarily good listener. Back then, she believed anything I said. After a while, I began to feel guilty selling things to her because of how happy she looked. Though she enjoyed the stories, and I the Mora, I knew she didn't need to buy that much. Anyway, since then, I've come to realize two things. One, that stories should just be a means instead of an end. And two, that there's more to business than just selling goods. It's okay. We're all friends now. There's no need to dig up the past. Hmm, that reminds me. Some of the goods from my latest shipment aren't in the best condition. They're fine for general use, but my customers have high standards, and I don't have the time or resources to find new buyers right now. Nilu, why don't you take them? Huh? No, 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 I can't do that. Just think of it as a favor for me, all right? The theater can use them for props and whatnot. It costs me Mora to store or ship, so I'm just losing money every day continuing to hold on to them. Even so, let me buy them at market value. Nah, these goods are hard movers. Besides, if I let you pay, wouldn't it mean that I'm just using stories to sell my goods again? Just take them. If you really feel that bad about it, give me some theater tickets later. Oh, yeah, you should also take some while you're at it. Adventurers are always in need of materials, right? Wow, even we get a share of this? Hurry and take it. Just looking at it all is giving me a headache. <laughs> Thanks for the huge favor. There's still one more store. Are you alright holding on to that much stuff? Paimon, why don't you lend a hand? You must be tired. If Paimon were to refuse, would you then think less of Paimon than even a Sumter Beast?
<laughs> About time, Nilu. Farhad here was snooping around your props. Please, I was only looking at them to get a better idea of what your new show may be about. Wouldn't spoiling yourself just ruin all the fun? Yeah, please wait for our official performance. Hmm, these two look familiar. I think I've seen them before. Ah, weren't they at the sub Zeru's festival? Yeah, and they're coming to today's celebration, too. Oh, the more folks, the barrier. I was actually just talking to Farhad about also stopping by tonight. Oh, yes, please do. I'm sure Miss Raycar and Miss Nadja would also love to have a chat with the two of you. We even prepared a small gift. Let me show it to you. Ta-da! It's a flower wreath. I really think we should wear some of these to give the event a more celebratory feel. Wow, it's beautiful. Did you make it? Farhad did most of the work. What a surprise, huh? He actually knows a lot about crafts. That is pretty surprising. Hey, why can't I have a little side hobby? I worked really hard on that. I know, I know. I watched you make it. I wasn't making fun of you. Oh, right. Why don't you also try some on? We've got some wreaths in your size. It fits perfectly. They're so pretty! Is there one that Paimon can wear? Unfortunately, we already gave out all the child-sized ones. I wasn't expecting the theater to invite such a fascinating guest. Fascinating? Huh. That sounds kind of weird, but Paimon will let it slide. Oh, you all sure got a lot of stuff there. Let me help you carry some. I'm a porter by trade, so this is what I'm best at. That'd be great! Please and thank you! But we have a pro now! Thanks for the help, Mr. Farhad. But let me make one thing clear first. Don't try to ask about what's in the new show. Otherwise, I may not be able to hold back Mr. Zubair this time. <laughs> You're so obvious that even Nilu saw right through you. Shut it. <sighs> Fine. It's not like I want to get on his bad side either. Including Hushang's things, though. We'll each need to carry a box if we want to move everything in one trip. Even my strength has its limits. Paimon looks like she doesn't want to, so I'll carry a little extra. <laughs> Although I may not appear super strong at first glance, I actually do a lot of strength training on the regular. Strength and balance are both really important for a dancer. No, no, let Paimon! Paimon will help carry! Traveler's right, Paimon shouldn't freeload. <sighs> Paimon can't fly anymore! Are you okay, Paimon? Paimon's good to keep going! But Paimon now understands when people say there's no such thing as a free lunch. <laughs> Thanks for the huge favor. <sighs> the most important thing about doing business is efficiently circulating merchandise. <laughs> Off with ya. Don't think Sorin and a bee will be able to hold out for much longer for that Tachi. I still have some stuff to sort through. Catch you later. Oh, that sure was a lot of stuff. Oh, 
looking forward to the event later. Thank you, Mr. Farhad. Thank you, Sumter Man. Whew. Paimon's definitely going to eat it all back later. All right, I'll leave you all to it. See ya. Good thing we had Mr. Farhad with us, or else that would have taken way longer. Of course, <laughs> because everyone's working here together. We're all like neighbors, so we're always helping each other out. It's easy to forget that everyone's running a business. With this many freebies being thrown at you, you probably don't need to work. <laughs> I felt so guilty at first, like I always owed someone something. I was always thinking of ways to repay others. Later on, I realized that it's actually like what Mr. Offsheen said. By taking the freebies, I was helping everyone out and saving them money. When you order the wrong item, or make too much of something, sometimes the best way to maximize the value of those goods is to give them away. That's why there's no need to stress over the freebies. All of us repay others by helping them when they need it. Oh, that actually makes a lot of sense. This has become our norm, and no one keeps track of the back and forth anymore. So really, don't worry about it. All right, I have to bring all this to Mr. Zubair and do a little bit of prep. Feel free to hang out here for a bit. It'd be nice if you could also get to know some other people at the theater. Nope. Mr. Zubair's really on top of everything. You two are our guests. So please, just relax and look forward to the celebration. Wow! The atmosphere here is so nice! Let's take a break and immerse ourselves in this warmth. Time to go! A moment, if you would. Are you two the famous Traveler and Paimon by any chance? We sure are! And who are you? My name is Wikos, a member of the Academia Extravaganza Planning Committee. Have you two heard of this festival? That so? Looks like our advertising is working. Since you're both interested, would you mind if I gave you a brief explanation of the event? Um, 
So, the Academia Extravaganza is a grand event run by the Academia with a long and storied history. To be precise, it can be divided into the Wisdom Gala and the Inter-Darshan Championship. The gala is held annually. During this time, all six Darshans will set up booths throughout the city and host guests to showcase the most fascinating aspects of their school, and thus, increase their influence. On the other hand, the championship is held once every four years. Each Darshan will send a representative to vie for the position of Grand Champion. This year, the gala is being held alongside the championship, so the mood in the city is, as they say, at an unprecedented fever pitch. Got it! Cool! Thanks a bunch for the detailed explanation! You're most welcome. Answering questions regarding the Academia Extravaganza is my job. And... I actually do have something I would like to ask the two of you. Huh? Need our help with something? Well, let me begin by saying that this year's Academia Extravaganza is of utmost importance to us. Lesser Lord Kusanali and the Sages came up with a plan for the Academia to recruit talented people from the desert starting next year. As such, we've invited a great number of desert dwellers to take part in this festival, so they can hopefully experience the Academia's atmosphere ahead of time. I've heard that the two of you are famous across both the rainforest and desert. With your participation, especially in the Inter-Darshan Championship, more people will definitely come to appreciate the festival. Or do you mean you want us to join a darshan? Ugh, but then we would have to deal with exams and essays and stuff like that. No need to worry. The championship participants have already been selected. I mean to invite the two of you as guest commentators. Your job will be to observe and record every part of the competition. There's no pressure. Just follow each match and enjoy the festival. Aside from that, We'll also prepare some compensation for your efforts. We won't have you working for free. That kind of sounds like a sweet deal. What do you think? You can head over to the festival venue later. An organizer there will introduce each participant. Some of them even might be people you recognize. I'll leave it at that for now. So, how about it? Would you like to take this commission? Wow, having fun while getting paid? This sounds awesome! The main event venue is at the outskirts of the Citadel of Regzar, and the organizer you're looking for is Karina. Tell her the situation and she'll get you set up. The championship is going to begin soon. I wish you a good experience serving as commentators. If you have any doubts, come find me anytime. 